Hello YouTubers, the Golf Nerd here with one of the nerdiest topics I could think of. In today's video, we are going to discuss my most recent computer build in support of using GS Pro as my home golf simulator. GS Pro is a fairly new program, and there's just not that much information available. So this video is going to change that and provide you with some real-world data of my PC running GS Pro to help you understand what you need in your own home simulator. Now, if you aren't familiar, GS Pro is one of, if not the, most popular golf simulators available. Why is it so popular? Well, there's numerous reasons. First, it's the most affordable option on the market. The current subscription is $250 a year. Okay, so it's cheap. Is it any good? The graphics are easily on par with TGC 2019, which has been somewhat of an industry standard. So yeah, it's good. Couple that with extremely realistic golf ball physics, and this game will have you yelling, cussing, and slamming your club down in no time. Just remember, there's concrete under that hitting mat. Okay, so it's good, and it's more affordable. Are there any courses worth a damn? Why, yes there are. Like TGC 2019 before it, GS Pro has an open source golf course development strategy. Designers from all over the world create courses and upload them for all of us die-hard golfers to enjoy. New courses come out all the time, including many well-known courses, as well as obscure courses you may not have heard of, but are done beautifully. So, hopefully now you understand why I wanted to build a PC to play this awesome golf simulator. So let's get to it. First, you need to choose a processor. Now, there's a really big fork in the road here. You want a great PC for GS Pro and maybe some other games? Or do you want a PC that can handle gaming and will do things like video editing? Note to self, I probably should have been considering this a little while ago. This video is only considering a PC for playing GS Pro and other games. So comment below if you'd like more information about the needs for video editing and other setup questions. So when it comes to processors, I chose the Intel i3-12100F processor. This guy hits the sweet spot for this golf nerd by punching well above his weight class. I am always looking for products that provide great value, and this processor does that. Next, you have to have a place to park that CPU, and that's where I chose the MSI Mortar motherboard with Wi-Fi but make sure you choose the model, the B660, because it's compatible with that little powerhouse, the 12th generation i3 processor. This is a terrific motherboard, and for any Mevo Plus users, the built-in Wi-Fi really helps with connecting to the Mevo Plus. So how about storage? Well, you're gonna need a minimum of 512 gigabytes of SSD hard drive but I'd recommend one terabyte as the golf courses for GS Pro are pretty good size and there are many cool options coming out. As far as onboard memory, 16 gigabytes of DDR4-3200 memory is plenty, but remember this is strictly for a gaming PC and your needs may be different. You'll need a power supply and depending on your graphics card, 600 watts should be plenty of power. The estimated power requirement for my build was 403 watts. Look for a bronze certified one. I went with the bargain unit from EVGA. Finally, for the main decision in the whole process, which video card should I choose? I really went back and forth on this, but I ended up with the AMD Radeon 6700 XT. I wanted something that provided enough headroom that I could trust to run smoothly but I also didn't want to sell any major organs in order to finance the purchase. The golf nerd is not what you would call independently wealthy. This particular model seemed to hit the sweet spot in terms of price versus performance. If you are more of an Nvidia fan, I would highly recommend the RTX 3060 Ti. These two graphic cards are extremely comparable and should perform damn near the same when paired with GS Pro. The next series of videos is showing GS Pro running at 4K on several different golf courses. I wanted to provide some additional details as these videos are playing. The, uh, the settings right now for GS Pro are 4K at ultra uh, graphic settings. 
um, the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see the frame rate. Uh, this is using vSync. Uh, as a result, it's capped at your refresh rate. The refresh rate is uh, 60 for this, so it cannot exceed 60. Um, but regardless, these settings are really just at the limit of what the, uh, the, the graphics card um, can handle. Uh, some of the courses, like this particular one, Whistler Nicholas, it's pretty smooth. It's uh, capping right out at that 60 frames per second mark. Um, but some of the other courses are a little bit more demanding. Um, the video itself is a little bit more jumpy than uh, what the actual gameplay feels like. Uh, it's probably just slightly overtaxing the PC to try to do uh, those uh, multiple tasks at one time. Uh, but I did want to point out the settings, and that way you know exactly uh, what uh, it was run at. This is the, uh, the final hole that we've got here. Uh, just a, a gorgeous course. And, uh, you know, the one thing about these courses is the topography is just so accurate. It's really, really cool. As you can see, this setup is working great, and I highly recommend it as a dedicated golf simulator PC for use with GS Pro. If you have any questions regarding this setup or want some additional details, please be sure to comment below and I'll get back with you. Also, if you found this video helpful, I would certainly appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. So that's it for me, the golf nerd. Hit them long and straight, and I'll see you next time.